Starting off, we have $706,100.51, $1,800 for the Oklahoma Today Advertising, $5,000 for the Chamber of Commerce Tourism Center Secretary, $23,350 for the Race Big Cruise and Car Show, $25,000 for the City of Alba Wayfinding Signage Project, $20,433 for the Oklahoma Today Advertising, $500 for future, $2,500 for standing, which leaves us with $627,517.51. And you signed the Oklahoma Today from last year, and that will be gone for next week. Henry? Aye. Janet? Aye. Terry? Aye. Motion passed. Next item on the agenda is discussion of action in Mr. Kenya Park Trust for $133,000. Radio advertising, newspaper advertising, online digital advertising, cash awards to artists, ribbons, special entertainment, and gas stipends. Now, estimated expenses for the 2000. No. I went to Norval and asked him how they do it for the that uh, it will be a voucher and they will have to ask for it and it can be spent it's for people that can travel more than sixty miles. But they have to spend it here. Yes, okay. it's at that's Barnett's yeah, it's either at Barnett's or Anne Fry's and it's for gasoline only. Right.
also did for about a week and a half the uh, LED sign that's out there by McCool's. We did that last year where it flashes every, I don't know, minute, 40 seconds or something, you know. And that's included in that also. And the website is included in that also. That runs at nine. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
just only get one quote. What? It looks like all you asked was my breath and life and ask me if I got some quotes. It came down in local electricity contracts. I don't know of any other local electricity in New York. And the, the other thing, too, is when the lights are very expensive, when Daryl was allowing us to buy three manufactured lights from another supplier, and he's still willing to install them. So I understand some of these other electricians, you're going to use what they tell you. And, but to be honest with you, I don't know. Damien actually took care of that, but Daryl's the only one in town that I'm familiar with, and, uh, and he's donated a lot of stuff to, to the uh, to the ones that back to me. Um, no, I move that we approve the seventy-five hundred dollars for the electric, the light poles, lights, and the headsets. Not just the seventy-five hundred dollars. Is there any subject to approve the request to Alice Speedway actually to seventy five hundred thousand dollars? Henry. Aye. Janet. Aye. Corbel. Aye. Terry. Aye. Thank you. We'll see you all out there April second, won't we? <laughs> Not for <so> sure. <laughs> <laughs>
July is when we have that slated to go down. Um, I included two quotes from them. I asked them um, you know, how important it was for them to have that ability to use the film and camera and uh, for their system. Jeff Myers was the second quote from Kingfisher. Uh, Joe McCauley's quote was, we travel to the country training young student athletes. We've trained athletes across the country to compete in all kinds of collegiate institutions, including Alabama, Oklahoma State, Maryland, Arizona, just to name a few. Uh, he says, go on to say, I can tell you that each one of our camps, the ability to access film and use as our correctional teaching tool is more than vital in our camp success. So what he's meaning is, when these people come in and facilitate these camps, they're going to film the individual them to be able to take that film from that camera system that's on that budget and it is downloaded directly into a system in our film room, they go right into the teaching. Right there. And that's what the draw for our teams is. Um, I, asked, I asked some of the coaches, I said, well, would you come if we offered gas vouchers? Would that be the big change? And a lot of them said it didn't really do it for That wasn't the, the tipping room. The ability to use the hosting camps, weight room, and film room were the two biggest things. We already have the weights. There was $100,000 that was raised in this community for those weights. We already have the facility. It's almost $2 million that's being gone up with that church indoor uh, facility. What we're asking for is the technology side of it to be able to basically put the icing on the cake and give us that edge to offer that to teams that are coming up here. Uh, like I said, 350 is what's coming this summer. We hope that grows. Um, that's a lot of uh, a lot of kids, a lot of families coming to Alba. Um, if we can get that to grow, you're talking about uh, over 10 teams coming to Alba and, and hopefully staying in our hotels and, and using that route. For sure, for sure being here. So how long camp goes from July 5th to July 8th. We use um, we use both of our facilities, Northwestern and Alba, the field. Um, as our camp grows, that will be the more days those teams spend here, if that makes sense. Um, it's just started, and so it's hard to, to tell you definitively this is how it's going to end up. I can tell you it's going to be really good. Every team's coming back. We've already added to it. Our advertising, all the legwork is done. Um, that's all man hours on, on my part, on my staff. We have usually the food is all donated and sponsored. Those types of costs are covered. This is a one time thing. This is something that we can do right now with where our facility's at to make it a, a bigger draw for us. Um, and for individuals like this, like uh, Joe McCulley, who, like I said, travels the country. <coughs> and uh, knows what we're doing up here and is willing to bring some of the higher end people to help. How can you use these audio and video equipment to create a camp? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with it the other 360 days a year? Um, it will be in the facility full time. Um, it will be there for use. Um, if, if baseball has a camp and brings in Oklahoma State in December, I think that I personally feel like it's it has a glass ceiling. Um, I can only guarantee you what I know we're doing right now. I do see that growing. I don't want to say that because I, I can't obviously. I don't want to make you a promise that I don't know, but I see that growing. You did you did mention that uh, when you mention camp, so does the high school football team go over and use that equipment? Oh, absolutely. Everybody that has access to that facility would be able to use that. Can I use that facility? You can on Tuesday and Thursday night. Sure can. We're going to have that. Is that video equipment going to be available to maybe use? Um, for kids? Possibly. Depends on what your avenue is of it. Possibly. Who, who is going to use the uh, equipment more? The camp or the house? Um, the ball? That's yeah. how, I'm going to say teams in general. Well, if you're going to say teams in general, the camps, hands down. Hands down. No, I'm saying, you know, you mentioned baseball. I'm just saying the 
baseball and the football team, who's going to use that equipment to do that? Between the two teams or no, between, between the, the Alpha High School Well, you said athletics. Okay. Between Alpha High School <coughs> Athletics and your three-day camp, yeah. who's going to use that equipment? So, and well, you're answering that question for yourself. I'm By saying 363 days a year, we have a three-day camp. Well, and I don't, I don't want you to picture it as that. We, this is a two million dollar facility that um, has been donated. Okay, and yes, our student athletes in Alba will be able to use it, hands down. I can't think of a better way to spend our money than on something that our own kids will be able to use. Now. Um, I'm coming and asking for this because this is a tool that we will use for those things. And it, it is something that draws people here. I'm not asking you for football to be used for our camps. I'm not asking you for a, a helmet to be used for our camps. I'm asking you for something that legitimately will be used and used as a draw to get people here. Um, and the, the, the thing about it is, Mr. Bickerstaff, this, the indoor that we're using, no one has this. No one in Northwest Oklahoma has this, okay? So anything that we can add to it, that these people like Jeff Myers, who have done this for 25 years, that sit here and say, I'm not going to bring my team to a camp that doesn't have this. So if you don't have it, I'm going to go to Tulsa, or I'm going to go to Tulsa, to Mustang. Does that make sense? So that's where I've come into this, and I would not hide behind the fact, absolutely, will our kids be able to use it? You bet. There is no doubt about it. Do kids go out and use the racetrack and recreation? Do they go, are they going to be able to use the arena? Are they going to be able to use the rec center? Uh, absolutely. We bring people into the rec center all the time for tournaments, but our kids use it too. And it's it's wonderful for us. It's wonderful for Alpha. Um, and that that's where I've come into thinking. Um, I, I don't, I don't want to hide behind that at all. But this is the one thing out of that $2 million, this, this, which now, since we've raised 7500 since we've submitted this, would be $21,733. Um, that's what I actually felt would be legitimately concerning for this committee that we would use. Um, and I do see, I absolutely see your side of it. And, I, and I'm just speaking for myself. I see what you're doing is more of a benefit. You're going to buy that equipment whether you have camps or not. But it's a benefit to our high school football team and baseball team, athletics, and whatever. And we have had I would rather help attract people here to individual camps or go directly to those camps as opposed to something that's going to probably be used the majority of the time by, by our high school athletics, which has nothing to do with food. I'm not saying it's a bad deal. It's just like a great, right. great opportunity for our high athletics right. to have this. And ancillarily, it helps your, helps your team here. Absolutely. Um, we have had another individual in here asking for equipment for an agritourism group. And we had, I think, one person on this committee that had the foresight to vote no for that. In hindsight, that agritourism never went any place. Our money was gone. Uh, that person is outstanding individual that took his word for it. But things just didn't happen. Things just didn't materialize. And so I'm, I don't want to make the same mistake. But I, I am not sure. personally in favor of spending this sort of camp. Equip, equipment. And it's not funding a camp. Let's be realistic. You're funding equipment for the majority of the by the high school athletic team. <clears throat> I would be more willing to look at something that would help uh, help eliminate the, or uh, not eliminate the cost, but reduce the cost of teams coming up here. Because even though we have a great facility up here, you will have a great facility, and I, and I have full confidence that you're going to be able to raise the money in other places, probably to, to fund the video and audio equipment. Those teams have other they have other opportunities to go other other places and go to other camps whether it's a college campus that has an indoor mm -hmm. 
facility or whatever. And if we can help facilitate those folks coming up here with, with some other tourism that is more close to the mine, it's going to go directly to the people who bring it up here. And that is what I would like to see. And that's just, I'm just sure. speaking sure. for myself, but that's where I am on <coughs> this project. Um, in, in absolutely understanding your point of view uh, and hearing some of the things that you, you approve and give money for, I understand that. And believe me, this is something I thought a lot about. Um, gas vouchers is not going to get there. Let me ask a question. The camp fees of $18,000, who pays that? Who pays that? That would be your students paying that. So what, I put that on there as an example of when we get these students to stay in our camp. We, we get them. Let's so they, they pay Now that camp fee, we facilitate housing and food. So that's where that money gets generated back into our community. That's where I'm going with this entire. So you buy the hotel room for them? If they pay the fee, the hotel room will pay the fee. What is the uh, fee per person? It would, I figured out like $60 a person. That's a typical one night camp. That's pretty uh, normal for that you go to, the more nights that you stay. Now, if you want to talk about a three day camp, not a one day camp, is this 18,000 based upon the one day? Well, when I say, when I say one day, that's 300 people times 60 bucks. Right. But you're talking a three day camp. So it's going to be, it's going to be more than that. So what did you say, 70? reason why I'm approaching it like this is because it's cushioning as a senior and it fits two seniors the first person. Uh, it's a big draw for them. They don't have to stay. I know that for a fact. They don't have to. They do not have to stay. It is something I think that we can use to get it done. Because quite frankly we, we have this committee because we try to attract people here. That's what they do advertising and to get it done. Um, I, I wish there was something else. I, I mean, I understand your, I do, I totally get it. Uh, but I have a question for you yes, about, <clears throat> someone to talk about, like, like these people that want to do, that would do a sports camp here, uh, say for example. So this, I mean, this has nothing to do with teen camp. This would be no, that's like, not. well, I, I know that my kid one time, several years ago, he went to Woodward to a baseball, an OU baseball camp. Yeah. It was the coaches came down and they put on the camp at yeah. Woodward. Yeah. Is that, I mean, that's yeah. kind of that's exactly what, what that is. Okay. We have the, and because of where we are, there is just not that many options for people to do those things. And, and Southern Kansas, Southwest Oklahoma, even the Panhandle, Texas, there's not a facility in place that has all in one package. Um, and like I said, the Barlow Sports is the one that goes around and does the whole country. If you, I don't know if, if any of you watch any, if you're fans of anything, OSU's last quarterback that transferred to Maryland, Max Homer, was once trained by this organization. The one that went to Alabama from Oklahoma was trained by this organization. They travel all over. But they see potential in a place like this where they can draw kids that they normally don't get to draw. They, you can't draw a kid from Liberal to Oklahoma City. But they can come here, use our facility, and draw kids from Liberal. Because they'll drive two hours. Their, their mom and dad aren't going to drive six hours. So that's where they see the potential in, in being able to do that. Um, I mean, I, will, I, I absolutely understand the thinking behind that. What, what are the other 300 days a year going to be? It's going to be there, and, and it, will, it will be used. Um, probably not as much as you think it would be used, but it will be used. The summer can be, and I guess I should say, it could get as busy as people want it to be in camp. Um, other organizations holding their camp, uh, doing
doing this type of thing. And, and the way I see it too is we have the structure, just like Henry said, that's already there. We do have it. It's going to be a great facility. We do have people interested already in it. And it, and it hasn't come at any cost to, to them. Uh, not, that you, not that you owe us anything or you owe anybody anything. But I do feel like we have a tremendous avenue there that, that has been a lot of time and effort and donations put into it. The, if you drove by it, you, you've seen the big part. That's all going to be turf. That's an entire turf field. It's the yard. So if a family has a large family union, they can rent that facility? Um, you know, I can't answer that. So that, that would have to be board approved. Because that's that kind of what he's asking is can the general public use the facility? Well, well now I get equipment within that facility if we're going to. What I can tell you is, yes, they will be able to use that facility, but we have to only allow it on certain days. It's just like if you can't go to the, well, to the rec center on some days. It happens. I mean, you can ask the D when they have staff there, they have people there. We have time. We are going to have time to lock it for the public, if that makes any sense. Uh, that it's going to be open. Uh, I cannot say any more than that because it's not been board approved. But I do know that is going to happen. Um, so to answer your question, could the general public come in there at certain times? Absolutely. Is it going to be maybe just something you can say, hey, I'm going to have family reunion at 5 o'clock on Sunday? I don't know that that would be covered. But it, it might have to be within the time that it is covered.